Hello Face It fans, we're here for more coverage of North America and North America has been a very busy area the final week of Face It. There's been so many games. While EMEA pushed a lot of their games to pre-Dallas, North America has left a lot of their games to after Dallas. So we're going to start with Luminosity versus TSM, which is a very interesting game. The way, the way it's really worked out in North America since M80 have gone through all their roster changes is Toronto are at the top as they always have been. They're probably even further at the top. A bigger gap has opened up. But the field behind them, M80, Luminosity, TSM, FMCL, even Citrus Nation, NRG Shock as well. There's so many teams in there competing. So I think this Luminosity TSM game well, both teams are qualified for the top eight, is a super interesting one in terms of the respective power levels of both teams before we go into playoffs. Because remember, because NA fumbled the bag at Dallas, there's only three spots to play for. And you have to imagine Toronto get one, but the other two spots, I think is actually wide open. Especially, you would say M80 have a guaranteed one. But maybe after their roster change, not so much. A bit more open. So, map bans. For this series, Luminosity will ban Busan, TSM ban Samoa as they often do, Oasis picked by Luminosity. Then TSM will ban Parisio, which is a bit weird because I don't think Luminosity really have a dive on them and it's been a successful map for TSM in the past, but they have seemed to stray away from the dive maps more often recently, TSM. We'll see if that remains true today. Well, Luminosity are going to ban Hollywood, which means Iconworld will be TSM's pick for where we're going to go. And then for the third map, if we need it, Luminosity will ban Rialto, TSM will ban Shambhali, and Junkertown will be the pick by Luminosity. Now, if you join me for the previous time Luminosity played Junkertown, it was a nail-biter against M18 that they weren't quite able to come out on top on. So we'll see if things go better for them here if they get to it. Obviously, they'll hope to win it a little bit quicker than that. But enough of that. Let's jump. Let's jump straight in, shall we? We're here on Oasis for map number one. Thank you, Q Overwatch. Hi. Hi. Hi to you two. Hi and welcome to TSM versus Luminosity. Luminosity will be on the left-hand side. And TSM will be on the right-hand side. So the important thing to, start about, to talk about at the start is obviously now Icy is in. Rocket and Chopper is in. We've seen Rocket play a lot of Tracer. And that's what he's best known for. We've seen him play more Genji recently as well. So it actually is going to be Farah that he starts on. So Farah, Cast, Malgam, Mirror. This is one of the comps that actually Luminosity looked better on than M80. But it was actually ended up being a very small part of the series. We'll get both teams going coast initially here. Charge comes through from IC, but doesn't commit to the stomp. So Dante still has not his back pocket. But Dante's lost his HP trade so massively. He has to get out of there. Rocket over the top, everyone on different angles. And you see the nature of this Malga Mirror. Once Dante realizes he's sort of lost that HP trade, he has to try and find a way to reset it or to turn it or something. Because the nature of Malga is you can't miss the Malga. He's too big. So if you're behind on that HP trade, you'll stay behind on that HP trade. So Dante comes out the worst from that one already. But Vision is still lurking around here. And they have given the flip though. Dink onto CJ for Tizasuzu, and Vision now has control on his left side of the map, trying to clear it out. Rocket's going to peek him. Rocket's low. Vision can find the finishing blow. Player advantage, and Icy has to regroup with his team, so they should be able to get flip him. Maple's going to die for it. Don't know if that was worth it ultimately, but it will be a good retake in the end. Thanks in large part to that Vision pick. Clean up for Luminosity. And normally City Center is a very difficult retake, so to get it for so cheap... Really happy with that. Now we're going to get to the big ult fight. And this is where Luminosity had, some, well, had most of their success against M80. But oh, they're going to lose King early on the walk up. How does that happen? Now they can start moving towards point, And Luminosity going to have to try and play a slower fight here all round. Vision's going to regroup with the main. Dante's lost his HP trade. Kitsune rushes will be traded, but Dante's not on the rush. He's forced away. High noon back from Vision trades one, but it's Malga does advantage. Juby commits for B. They still have control of a point. They need to find a kill. Maple doesn't have it yet. King over top with a barrage. The damage is enough. The kills are enough. Maple was slow on his beat, and it proves decisive there. Luminosity were able to win on Juby's timing. And now they only have the cage left, but they've maintained control of points, so they can get it pretty close towards... Pretty close towards 99% here. Will be Cage, Barrage, and High Noon, and Beat all coming back for TSM. So Dante really can't take a Cage fight here. He could maybe use Cage, then cancel it to disengage. That's always an option. 
just to try and bait out some of these ults, but... Oh, another opening pick. Vision's at it again. This is going to put a big dent in their chances. Vision's got another one here. And TSM are just getting caught on the walk-up. Two fights in a row now. Vision finds that crucial pick. And they're keen to stagger out Icy as well if they can. But force everyone back to spawn. Still an overwhelming ult advantage for TSM. But can they get a chance to use it? It's 87% and counting. All five ults available. Trying to put pressure early on to IC. King and Vision just laying down that damage. They will regroup towards point now. Nearly at his own carry ult here is Squid. Kitsune rush on point. They're just going to try and play off it for now. Luminosity. Dante's going to try and run out. Looks for the disengage. Does get himself out of that one. So they will give the flip. Just for one ult in the end. But now they have Kirio advantage coming back. And their own barrage. So it could be a big old cage fight in this one. Maple's beat should be the deciding factor. As long as he can get it off. And get it onto everyone through Dante's cage. Slow at first though. Damage onto him. Beat comes in early. It's a beat push actually. Kitsune rushing cage. Icy's in a lot of trouble. Barrage from Rocket comes through first. They deal with it though. But behind him from Chopper. He's outside the cage. And Chopper is the difference maker. That's where you want, if you're going to have this high noon trade, or sorry, this cage trade, if you can have your cast just stand somewhere out it, charge up a load of heads. They can't de peek it, so you get full charge on heads. Your first couple of shots, or hopefully one if you can charge up enough, will break the cage, then all the other damage goes through. Three kills there for Chopper, and a massive win. A massive win. Rocket's onto the Genji now as well, as is King. That den tends to be what people play a bit more in the mirror here. Coming onto the high ground. They have Juby's beat if they want to go with it here. They're just playing playing on the trampoline for now, Luminosity. Toying with their time to engage, but it's actually it's actually TSM who go first, but the beat is good from Juby. Playing for the Ajax there, I think. It was probably, probably a reasonable attempt from TSM. It was the win con they had to play for. But they managed to get Juby's beat off. They'll get all the cleanup kills, and the touch is going to be impossible. Tracer or no Tracer from Rocket, they won't be making this one. And Luminosity will find themselves a roundup early on in this series. Score. One, we'll move on to the next round. It will be University. So expect very much more Malgam Mirror on the go. Now both teams realize. Now both teams realize it's a Malgam Mirror. Bomb money. <laughs> Thank you, Turtle Hacks. <laughs> Appreciate the three months. Hope you're enjoying the stream. What was I saying? Oh yeah, Malgamira. Malgamira, Malgamira. So, Genji is what a lot of people tend to lean towards on this. It's very dangerous areas on these stairs on this first fight. But the reason... Oh, I should be Farrah from both. So yeah, it's going to be a really volatile first fight. There's going to be stomps. There's going to be boops. Lucio's going to go for boops. Here comes Juby. Maples lurking coast though. Juby's going to take one rocket. Has to back up. And now... There's the boot. They're on the back foot here. Luminosity. Juby's still looking for boots back. But they're just focusing down Dante there. They really lost the space. A trade from Juby, though. He gets Chopper. But Maple gets immediate revenge. It's not enough for Luminosity. And TSM will cap this first fight. There's a super quick fight in reality as well. So there's really no ults on the board. So we'll get a free... We'll get a full neutral again. Suzu so used early by Squid here, so we have to be a little bit careful on the walk up. Ice is going to play on his right hand side, and Rocket's just going to find a. Well, a Rocket from downtown. This will force Luminosity to disengage. TSM keen to try and catch any staggers if they can. Cardiac overdrive far forward. Dante will get Suzu out of that one. Luminosity live. And Kitsune rushes will be up for both carries as we go into this next one. Likely to be a Kitsune Rush trade. Beats can come up mid-fight, depending how the trade goes. Slow and steady. Maple slightly ahead on that beat. One worth keeping an eye on. Rocket does have this barrage. Suzu used onto Icy as they come through. TP's to CJ. CJ will rig but they've lost Rocket. No chance for that barrage now. They're trying to pocket Icy. Juby nearly has beat, but behind it over top. Chopper's high nooning back, but I don't think they can get much. They get one. But without Amalga, they're surely in a big disadvantage in this fight. Chopper and Maple are going to try and flank. They get one. Can he deal with King as well? Surely he can finish King. They drop the beat to finish it. And TSM are going to clutch this one. It's only Dante left. Chopper needs help. The Suzu is good. Squid's going to die first. And Chopper will be pocketed through everything. And it looked like they had it there. Once they shut down Rocket early, they dealt with that barrage. But 
Chopper just pushes for flank. A lot of value from him. And TSM. Hold on to the point. And it's only one more attempt at this retake. Barrage still available from Rocket as they try and come through this choke. Might just drop it early on the Malga. Yeah, nice easy one. Suzu is late. The beat comes through. It's wasted. They have to back it up now. And that ult advantage disappears for Luminosity. They still have Cage Barrage. So in theory, but it's not going to be a clean fight on this last one. They catch Vision. They go for the trade. King gets shut down. And it's a disaster for Luminosity now. Rocket, clean finish onto Juby. Cage to make sure no one else can touch. TSM with a strong response here on Oasis. Step right. We'll move on to Gardens as the deciding round. Now, we have seen... We have seen Luminosity and TSM on this before. Luminosity stuck mostly to this. Meanwhile, obviously, TSM have have moved on to the dive as well. But it was against the Sigma comp, so they might just be happy in the Malga Mirror knowing it's that. Expect to see Faraz potentially here again, even though Genji can be very effective in the Mirror. I think, ultimately... This coast angle here is so good for Farah. It's so important to control this high ground that Farah's really reasonable on these ones. Both Farah's going to trade this early damage. It has been a coast rollout from Rocket. King on the opposite side. Both just trying to lay, lay damage into this choke. Rocket's going to give a more aggressive angle now. Maple's going to take a little peek out down to half health. And it'll be point first from Dante to try and force it. Rocket's trying to poke him out here. Icy will meet on point. While Vision's going to try and take the high ground. Looking for Rocket here. Maple's going to come try and help him mark. But Rocket is awfully low. Might have to drop and get the Mega. He's going to peek in aggressively here. Marked by Juby though. It's King who dies first though. So Luminosity, despite keeping Rocket in check, will lose this fight on point. While Vision was focusing Rocket, it meant that... All of Vision's damage was out of a fight, and it just allowed Chopper all that free range, what helped win that frontline trade. And because they didn't find the kill on Rocket, Vision's effort was ultimately wasted. So they'll get to hold initially here. Kitsune rushes up soon. Chopper a little bit quicker to that high noon too. Chopper with that massive high noon earlier in the series. It's the sort of one that does layer with the Kyriolt nicely, helps you move a little bit faster. Get the Suzu to pocket that high noon through it as well. Holding on to the high ground initially. Icy will be anchoring point. Vision wants to swing that now. Dante's not with him though, so Vision's just going to swing by himself. Meanwhile, the Pharaohs are fighting on the far side of our screen. Vision's going to go so aggressive. Kitsune rush in, but Vision goes too far. CJ meets it. And now the rest of TSM can push back up onto this high ground. No value out of that Kitsune rush at all. And the Pharaoh will get focused down after this. Retake is no good from Luminosity. You can see the idea there. They wanted to use it to take the high ground to win the cast battle. I'm a bit surprised we didn't see Dante just join in the Kitsune Rush there and also go high ground. Just try and take the big fight. Instead, though, it's going to be another retake. Alts equal from both teams. Everything available except those Kitsune Rushes and cages a little bit mid-fight. We'll see how Luminosity choose to retake it here. Dante will go high ground this time. King, the opposite side, but Rocket goes in with a barrage. It counts as Juby. It's a one-for-one -one trade, and now the barrage comes back from King with a beat from Maple. They lose Icy. Is it worth it? Maple's stuck behind now. They're all quite low, actually. It's going to be Chopper on the high ground again to try and deal with this one. Deals mostly with King. Needs for full pocket. Chopper just trying to keep distance between him and the oncoming Luminosity Onslaught. He's keeping them at bay, and he's clicking on heads. Dante's going to run with a Mega. Doesn't give a Mega. Desperation play. They need to commit to this fight. Luminosity, there's no time left. But Chopper's just got full pocket on point. Here comes the beat through. High noon to keep himself alive. Cage traps for Lucio. Nowhere for Juby to go. He's going to get focused down. Uses the Cage shield to ensure he wins that high noon trade as well. And it's all, all TSM at the end here. Dante can give one more touch on his Katsune Rush. He'll drop a Cage, but... Who's really locked in with who here, Dante? 100 and 0. Back to back for... Back to back for TSM. And it does really... And they do really turn that one around, don't they? So we'll move into Icon World, which was, of course, TSM's pick. They find themselves a map up already. 
Interestingly enough, we're only going to get one change in the lineup here. It feels like IT really has been playing the majority of the TSM games so far. Definitely seems to be their go-to for Malga. Also, when they've swapped onto Sigma and stuff, again, suits IC's hero pool. Sun June is going to come in as well. Interestingly enough, in replace of Chopper. We'll also be playing the Cass, it seems, initially. And Rocket will be on the Farrah still. Looks like Luminosity happy to continue with the same comp for Farrah, for Cass. Five, four, three, and they'll kick it off here. Don't expect we'll see too many swaps here. We have seen a lot of Genji and Venture in this, but both teams kind of have a pretty hard hit scan player. Maybe not so much in Sun, Sun June. We could see Flex a little bit more. Maybe a Genji, maybe a Venture or something. But especially on the side of Vision, you'd expect him to stay on that hit scan roll one way or another. And as they try and come through the choke here, They'll just be waiting on point. TSM deciding which way to go. Slow and steady. Icy's going to swing again now. Big boop over the top, but doesn't get all that much. Still just trying to keep this pressure onto Icy. Make his walk up as hard as possible. So Icy's going to go the far side. Overrun in. Gets the slam onto Vision. Vision's going to get suited out. Good pocket from Squid. They're able to stabilize, but both Malgas have lost significant health. TSM now have control of a point and they are forced an objective. Sun June with the opening pick. King is going to be forced back as well. And this retake is going to be very difficult. Dante is going to make a move for it now. But he's taken so much damage. The high noon is not enough cover. And they're going to have to die on point. Ultimately, even though the Suzu was good to save Vision from all that danger and all that trouble, it meant they used... It used their resources so quickly. They were just on the back foot. They couldn't use their Suzu in that Malga trade. Which just meant... They were always going to be behind resource-wise Luminosity. As such, they're going to reset. And they're even going to get a pick just from downtown here. They can hold for high ground, but the boop is actually good from King. Luminosity have to be careful to commit here because they are still a Kyriac down. So yes, I'm going to try and take advantage of that by taking the high ground. They have the Kitsune rush as well, but Luminosity trying to keep the distance. This time, Vision gets back with the opening pick. Rocket is hiding with that barrage, but the Suzu is good, but not enough. They take down Rocket, they take down Sunju, no DPS, and Icy is just, well, he's trying to fight the whole world on his Kyriol. But he's just going to have to try and run away. CJ is low, they should all get staggered out here. I don't think Maple should get out either. King will finish that one. And a couple of nice opening picks. Set Luminosity back on the right track. They're going to go to spawn here as well. They have all of the ults coming up now, Luminosity. The real disaster, obviously, for TSM. Not only did they lose the forward hold, they lost the fight on the high ground. They used two ults for the price of it as well. So a real disaster. Put some a few ults behind. The economy is so important in any comp. And King with the early barrage catches one. Well, looks for the other DPS as well. Rocket is so low. Rocket will end up killing himself. And both DPS down again. Luminosity in full control at the spawn here for the price of just a barrage. Really difficult now. The ult economy, as we were saying, so important. And especially in this Malgamu, if you're behind on ults, you kind of need to disengage. But it's tricky to disengage if you're already at your spawn door. Cage comes out and catches Shubi. He goes for Vino. Suzu not in time from Squid. Ajax, they commit the ults anyway. Dante will cage. Squid will Kitsune rush. They will kill the Malga. They have to DP this high noon. They do win the fight at the cost of Juby, at the cost of all their ults. They have to invest everything. And now a clear beat advantage for Mateball coming back. But Luminosity will get more time off the clock. And the cage from Icy is really what caused all the damage. But a beat are now available for Maple. Luminosity will be so keen to force him to use this beat. And spawn Nez for slam onto Rocket. He's so low. They beat, but they lose Sun June first. They do have a beat advantage, but where are the kills? Where's the push from TSM? They can't get anything with it. They've had to beat just to live. And now here come Luminosity back again. Luminosity will not let TSM out of spawn. And King's about to have another barrage. See, they just have this Kitsune rush, but King can look for more again. Maple's going to be forcing point. He's going to die on point. It just pull, it pulls Luminosity back, but now with the player advantage, they're going to come again. Kitsune rush over top. They're going to try and disengage it. King wants to get out of here. Needs a lot of help. Needs a lot of pocket. Not enough. They focus him down. King not ready for the disengage, and now this leaves them short. They're going to swing back with High Noon here. Pressure on, but he's just killed Rocket. Icy took loads of damage for that as well. Luminosity stabilized once again. Keen to avoid any trades. CJ is still in, but no problem for them. Luminosity once again <laughs> at the spawn door. TSM 
are struggling. Sun June has gone Farah, but does not get very far out of spawn that time. TSM seem a little bit all at sea. Forcing them out of spawn now. We'll go back in. They do nearly have Cage Blade coming back here, but both support ults for Luminosity should help them live both of those. Dante can Cage back as well to limit the blade. I see trying to take some initial space. We'll get met. We'll cage Dante, actually. Dante will cage right back. They're all going to get in there. Here comes the Kitsune Rush. They're all stuck in the cage here. They're trying to TP ground the corner. Now the blade over top of the barrage shuts it down. A sword versus a rocket strike. What's going to win? And they are still, once again, at the TSM spawn door. Barrage and Kitsune Rush and Beetle coming back for TSM. Please. Please. Surely they can get out of this one. They will come out of the spawn. Kitsune Rush, but Luminosity are actually playing quite far back, so can't quite use this Kitsune Rush yet. Dante's going to give more space. Needs to be back at full health before this fight starts. Again, they're trying to poke Dante out. He's low once again. Luminosity have to concede more space. They can't quite stabilize Dante's HP, but they catch Sun June. TSM have the high ground, but they're a player down. They have the Malga HP advantage, but that player disadvantage is going to cause some problems. Vision's out of position a little bit on the low ground here. He's not really in this fight, but CJ dies as he uses the Kitsune Rush. They try and double down, but the Cardiac Overdrive does enough healing. Keeps all of Luminosity up. They will be okay. And I think you know where Luminosity are going right now. They're going back to the TSM spawn. Maple has the angle. He has the beat. But they're going to need a touch kind of soon as well. And this is a tricky one for TSM. Kind of could do with Venusia back with the team. Maple's going to try and go there now. King just boop him out. Maple will be okay. Icy's going to swing. Vanessa's high noon back from Vision. That forces TSM to de-peak. You can see Sun June lurking into the back line here. They catch Rocket. They're going to beat. But Barrage is coming as well. But no! The stop hits him! He's forced all the way out. And now they turn back to deal with point, but Barrage comes in. It's just one for one, but it is for support down, so Vision can get focused down now. Dante has the Cardiac Overdrag on point. King is going to double team Icy with him. And this should force TSM back. Icy is so low. They need the kill, though. They're desperate for the kill on Icy. There we go. Now the cage over top from Dante. No escape from Rocket. Barrage over the top. They're trying to come back. King will tuck himself safely in the cage. And Luminosity have been... Dominant. Absolutely dominant. As I can't remember the last time. Obviously, we see the spawn hold on Iconworld quite a lot. But I can't remember the last time we saw a team repeatedly push a team back to Iconworld forward spawn for that much of a second defense. Because first point, actually pretty straightforward, right? They just won it off that first icy stomp timing. Hit vision, force out an early Suzu. Then just win a Malga trade. But after that, after that, it was all luminosity all the way. Deal with all the ults, one of the ult situations. It's fair to say for Luminosity. When we saw a little bit of that Malga Mirror against M80 as well, it did actually feel like Luminosity were ahead in the ult macro in that game as well. The problem in that series is more it was just one round of cough they actually got to play the Malga Mirror. And it looks like that's maybe forced TSM to change approach here. I see we'll be going over to the Sigma. This will change the style a little bit. They're going to keep the Kiri as well. So it does mean the style needs to change for both teams now. It means the Luminosity side can be more aggressive. A lot more about landing aggressive stomps onto this Cass, onto this Kiri. Forcing, forcing a back step from TSM. And then hopefully the Luminosity DPS can take advantage of that space. Meanwhile for TSM, it's all about absorbing that first piece of aggression and the push back here. So we'll see here they come. We'll see if King makes a change once he sees it's a Sigma. Genji might be more suitable in this. Allows more aggression. Looks like there might be a couple of changes. Genji, is vision changing as well? Yes, so venture Genji. The Falcons comp. The comp that was so successful at Dallas for Falcons. And now the pressure will come in, but King dies early here. Will be a full reset now. The defense was very good from Luminosity here, so a few missteps might not cost them that much. They still have plenty of time with the distance to... The distance to... Cover. But a nice early start, and I see already halfway up to this... To this Sigma Flux.
Slam comes in initially, gets the other side of Icy. Rock comes in, but they do Suzu it. Icy's now going to be forced back, but TSM have stabilized. They can keep putting pressure out now. And Luminosity just need to avoid damage. Look to go again. Thank you very much, Skyle, for the four months. The Burrow comes in from King, looks to get behind that Sigma. All over him now. They catch Maple out. Maple's out in the open, trying to Matrix for him, but Maple's in such big trouble. They will be forced all the way back. They've traded one for one. Icy's got the Flux now as well. They're going to be back against it, though. They are all caught in the Flux. Huge damage from Icy. Shuts them all down. They're stuffed in this corner. And they're run over. <laughs> run over by the hype train. Thank you very much as well, Lucas. I appreciate the tier one. A chance to stabilize here for TSM. And now they've got the Kitsune Rush. They've nearly got the beat. They've got the Barrage to come in as well. Vision's going to deflect through. King again burrowing underneath Icy. Can't get past him though, so King will just regroup with his team. Next burrow timing will be the next timing that Luminosity can go. They're just trying to put damage onto Dante. They do put Barrage comes out. Dash over the top. They shut down that Barrage quite quick. Now a Kitsune Rush trade, but they've lost Dante here, Luminosity. They're trying to reset behind. They're trying to hunt and chase down Sunjun. And they do catch Sunjun. Now the Blade is coming in. Vision's trying to look for more, but the counter beat back, and Vision is so low. Chance to push back in. They're trying to come from this choke, but Icy's marking it so much. Rock's going to miss. Big dash through. Forces for Suzu. Deflect is good onto CJ. Vision with another dash. Maple is low as well. They're also low on the side of TSM. Surely they find the kills. Dante's back. Dante should be able to clean it up here. And Luminosity get themselves onto cap. Maple can go for a touch if he really wants, but I don't think they can win the fight. And now they've got that cap, three and a half minutes, and you can see where that box of victory is. It looked a little bit ropey for Luminosity on there, but you have to, it really felt like King and King and Vision were able to find the connect, and they're actually going to go onto the Farrah Cast now. Now it's more of a Malga Mirror, since Icy has also made that swap. A fight of a choke. Dante has huge cage advantage, as you'd expect. Sun June has to save this Hylian to be defensive with, has to try and counter the cage with it. Rockets onto the choke. Oh, Sunjun's going to get caught. No High Noon. They can just go with the cage. It's free for Luminosity. No Suzu. Just go. Luminosity is wide open. Vision's going to go forward. Cardiac Overdrive's traded. Cage now onto the Malga. They can just focus down Icy here. Nothing to save him. They clean everyone up. Free on point. And I don't know if anyone can touch. Tracer swap from Rocket to try and make the attempt. He's going to run for it. But I don't think he's going to get close enough. Four meters. Sunjun's going to die on it. Rocket can just about get the next touch. Kitsune Rush comes out from Squid to try and focus it down. B over top now from Juby. And they've just got such an overwhelming ult advantage here. It might just be no problem at all for Luminosity. They'll focus down IC first. Now CJ. Nowhere to go. And what a back and forth series so far. Oasis was a 2-1, but the last two rounds were 100-0 to TSM. But then this, Luminosity responded in even bigger, even bigger fashion with a, with a series of spawn camps on Iconworld. So we'll move into Junkertown as the tiebreaker. Luke Mino will be coming in. Sunjun and Rocket both stay in as well. Also False coming in. Which means double flex for Luminosity. Double flex support. So Lukamina will be on the BAP. Squid will be on the Kiri, playing mostly with King. False will be anchoring down main. Now, I thought False actually played very well against M80 for the most part. Really went toe-to-toe -to -toe with, um, with Kaluj, who is obviously very well known for his Sigma. Meanwhile, on the side of TSM, no changes. But it looks like Icy will be on Sigma. Maple will be on Brig. Might have a bit of a widow off here now. Vision really had Tree's number in that M80 series. We'll see if he can give the same treatment to Sun June here. Rocket will also be on the Genji, interestingly enough, as well. Vision looking for any early opportunities. We'll just default back to the high ground. Take quite a passive angle. Needs to be ready for any grapple. No grapple just yet from Sun June. Slow and steady as the car gets up to this corner. 
Oh, showed himself for a second too long there, Rocket. Vision will take that one down. And now wants to swing aggressively as well. Sun June's not ready for it, but is safe in that house. Opportunity on the bat. Doesn't get it. And Vision will reset back to his default position. Rocket has respawned now. So they can try and make the play again. Rocket looks like he wants to come coast this time. Blocked by the brick shield and Vision will default back to high ground. Now they're trying to swing right hand side. Deflex out from Rocket. He's vulnerable now and Squid will finish that one. Now pressure onto the Sigma. Has to be ready for Sun June to swing. Sun June is on coast. They've dealt with the threat for now though. And he wants to push this bap instead. Body shot onto CJ. He's down to half HP. They have lost Squid. But they've got health advantage here. So you have to feel they should be okay now. Okay, ability to stabilize for Luminosity. Still holding onto this right hand side. Squid and King taking responsibility for that. One and a half minutes gone already. And TSM will have to try again. Window coming up for both teams. Again, Vision holding this aggressive angle in house. Will be forced all the way out for now. Sunjun with the co swing. Window round the corner now. No window back. It comes through now from Luke Mino, but he's very split. He's very separated, but Rocket can't get close to him. King now with a pulse bomb. Doesn't catch CJ, though. The rally inside. False needs help. But he gets himself round the corner and they can't push with this rally TSM. Sunjun has taken the wide angle now. Chance to swing out, but will get pressured by King. They're trying to pocket Sunjun through this. King will be forced to go back. Squid's peak in vision was there as well. Now Sun June. Full range of the map here. Takes the aggressive angle on left. Misses the shot onto Squid. Goes for another one. Any kill will do. Expects the tracer, but King all over. Sun June, one more. Getting pocketed through. Needs more help. We'll keep backing off Squid on it as well. But Flux comes through. Not enough to save him. False trace that one. But they still have to deal with this Widow. Finally, King gets the kill. But the blade over the top from Rocket will finish it. And they make it. It took him a while, but they make it. Squid going on to Lucio just for speed out of spawn. Yeah, back to Kiri. We will get more of the same matchup. This is the part of map, the map we've seen teams struggle on time and time again. The second half of this second point. Wolves will be popped by Sunjun. As they try and come out this high ground here. Difficult though, because you can see Vision scoped at it. Squid has the angle. And they're just going to slow it down for now, TSM. Make sure they get the car as far as they can. They have window soon from CJ. That could be their that could be their go signal. No great ults to respond with. Have to be wary. The pulse bomb could be pretty spooky in this enclosed area up here. If King comes behind them. Deciding where to go. Taking their time. This should give Luke time to get his own window. Window out top now. Looking to trade back. Just trying to win the shield battle now. Make them in. Peaks Vision forces him back. Now CJ wants to swing. More pressure onto Vision. Trying to help his team go forward. Drops to the low ground. Don't know if he intends meant to bat. We'll lamp everyone else in. Pulse bomb in the back with the lamps enough. Shift afterwards as well. Needs more help. But the rally is good. Converting their ult advantage here. They should be able to deal with this Widow now. And it's successful. First time of asking. Don't normally see Junkertown second go that smoothly. And they'll set up forward here on the third point too. False trying to meet them all on the high ground. Will get bullied off by this Brig Genji if he's not careful. And Sun June gets the opening pick as well. False has to concede the space. Gets booped down as well. False is vulnerable. Vision misses his grapple. All of Luminosity in trouble now. Vision will fall. False manages to get out. And Squid's actually on point. He's still with the Widow. Squid might die for this. But does cause cause them some havoc in the back line. And Luke and False have managed to stabilize and will try and go top now. But is, is Icy just walking behind them? Will Force will get stuck fighting the Tracer and has to go back a little bit. They're coming to meet now. Icy does nearly have a flux of his own. But he's stuck on the low ground. And he's about to have to deal with the rest of the Luminosity team above him. There it is. We'll get underneath. Wants to try and push behind here. Do they know he's coming? Surely they do. Vision take a shot. Yeah, Luke's going to be looking at him. Now Ice is going to give him the flip. Where are we going? We're going in loops. They're chasing each other in circles. 
<laughs> the six are just walking in circles. Now I see will be forced out, course, caught with the rock. They lost Maple during all of that. Rocket wants to blade. He wants to find the finisher here. He's killed for flank. Now the flux comes through. Rock won't be there. Lamp is perfect from CJ. Keeps Icy alive. Rocket dies for it, but did get a two for one trade. Or a one for two trade, I should say. And now forcing it on. Windows up for both teams. Flux advantage for Icy here. Luminosity continues to play it slow. Rocket forces his way into the back. Pressure onto the Widow. Rock will miss now. Icy's going to connect it. Doesn't land actually, but the Rock is huge afterwards. Window coming forward. They find no kills off the back of that Rock though. And now False has this big off angle. Hulk's bomb in the back from King. They get pulled, pulled back in all directions. And they will be repelled. Icy misses his Flux timing. Neither Flux has been good from Icy so far on this map. And TSM will be forced back. Maple now has the rally coming up. They have to be careful here. Maple can go for it soon if he wants. Has the double bash now with the rally. Remember, he's going to drop it. There's the other bash. The bash is huge. Maple following it through underneath. They get the kill onto false and Luminosity were just simply too close. Now they can deal with King. Another bash connects for Maple. The rally is good. The pushback is good. And Luminosity just switched off. Weren't aware of that rally turn timing. Maple's able to hit the biggest bash you could ask for. And that sees them cap all three points. Minute and five seconds left as well. And with how difficult we've seen, or how difficult it has been for teams to capture second, Junkertown far from a straightforward map. So a very impressive time. Full map completion from TSM. Big task, big task ahead of Luminosity. I imagine we won't see much difference comp-wise from either of these teams. Interesting to see King commit so much to the Tracer. We do see, when we play a lot of these double flex, you do quite often see, especially since Kiri matches up quite nice against Tracer, you do see more Genji, like how we saw Rocket swap off for big parts of that, uh, big parts of that attack. But for now, it seems they might both start on Tracer still as well. I can expect a very similar fight so far. Widow from both sides. It felt like, for the most part, it was kind of one for one, right? Vision got the early, the early headshot onto Rocket, but then Sun June won that duel later to really open up the left-hand side of the map of the attack. So we'll see how the Widows go here. Emphasis on Vision to try and find the opening pick for his team. Obviously, with the Kiri Tracer, they'll be very happy to stack this left-hand side of the map as well. Grapple Shot's only a body from Vision here. Anticipating a re or a grapple back. Sunjun will not oblige, though. Again, they'll get it to the, the final corner of this map for relatively free. Tracer pressure now from Rocket all the way on. SMGs him down and we'll get pocketed through there. So now a period of time. Can actually chase Rocket out. Rocket's low here. Really wants to push for that kill. They turn it into an entire push. So Vision has to back up. Sun June catches King in the front. A player down, but chances for Vision here. They're awfully close still. Icy manages to shield his whole team out. Shots exchanged, but nobody hit. Taking the aggressive angle inside. Shoots, gives away his position, knows Rocket is nearby and will swap sides of the map now. Rocket's coming up top here, pressure onto the back line, Ice is going to peek with it as well. Maple's gone so deep actually, and they do force the kill onto Luke Mino. They're playing this very aggressively here, TSM. Looking for a trade here, CJ has to dodge, he has to juke. Again, Icy manages to do enough to help his back line out. And they're holding strong. Normally you see teams just hold this kind of line, these areas. But TSM keep pushing in this area with pressure from both flanks. And it's causing Luminosity all sorts of problems. But look at Squid and King's position. They've got him behind now. Look where they forced Sun June to. TSM are stuck in the middle of all of Luminosity. They need to push out one of these sides. They're trying to push forward. Sun June's going to grapple. <laughs> grapple to the spawn. Rocket is there, as is Maple. But now Maple is isolated. They lose Maple in the back. TSM are still pushing forward. Pulse Bomb onto False. But King and Squid are still behind. CJ's low. King and Squid are doing it all. 
They get in for trades. I see his traps in here. Squid is low. Will manage to TP back to spawn. King is still there, though. Rocket wants to force that kill, but King makes it to the Mega. And these trades might now finally be enough for Luminosity to safely swing this corner. All the ults coming up as well, except for this Kitsune rush. Rocket looking for early pressure onto Vision as well. Now the window's popped by Vision, so Rocket has to be careful. Will blink in. More pressure onto Vision now. Has to recall. Looks for the exit shot, but Rocket's going to get that kill anyway. Lamp not in time. No lamp in main now, so they're going to window two. They win the jewels on all sides of the map, TSM. Not enough support for... Not enough support for Vision in that situation. They don't help him swing... And only a minute left now, and Luminosity are in trouble. They have Window, they have Flux, they have Pulse. They have decent tools, but... TSM haven't had to use a lot of ults to win many of these fights, so they're still fine too. We see Maple coming over with Rocket here to pocket this side. This time, all of them want to swing this coast, but look how aggressive Icy is behind them. Rock will get blocked by False. Now they walk back up. Rock is good. Window now aggressively. Flux over the top as well. Icy's going to flux back. The lamp isn't good enough, though. Icy will take him down. Icy will fall, rather. They use the rally in this as well, but Maple is all alone behind. Rocket's trying to force a kill, but they can't do it. And the car's just moving away. Maple has to reset here. Does he think he can win the duel? He thinks he can win the duel. It's a 1v2. He wants to play his life. The point's going to go. He commits to the 1v3. And he doesn't win it. He doesn't win it. They do get themselves back on point with a Winston and a Tracer, but they are surely outmatched and outgunned unless they can do a lot here. And the Kitsune Rush does seal it. I, ultimately, I think if you were TSM, you're actually just pretty happy you got the Kitsune Rush out for the cap. Luminosity couldn't afford to take any risks. And they will be back over to Sigma now. But with so much time off the clock and this second point so difficult, Luminosity really have to play at quite a high level now. We saw TSM do it in one. Do it in one single attack. A successful window and they take the space. Luminosity only have walls, but they have been able to hold forward here. We see Sunjun swap onto the Cass as well. So now they can play a lot more aggressively in this front line. Really play to Brawl, but ugh, not if Vision takes down Sunjun straight away. Luminosity remain in control of top. They're trying to go up. They do trade it back. Hit scans down for both teams. They're walking out top. Pressure onto False. Needs more pocket. Luke Mino's on the ground. Can still heal him. False has to concede it, though. Lamp was forced on the way through from CJ. But they've lost Rocket in the back, so they have control of the high ground now. But CJ's and Maple, they're having their, they're having their attention pulled in different directions. CJ's trying to mark the point, but Squid and King are there. King and Squid are just opening this map wide up. They're behind them. They're forced TSM. TSM are trying to push into false. The lamp is good from Luke Mino. They need more help. They're going to try and kill the cast behind here. Squid and King are going to keep going, but Sunjun's pulled them away. They still have control of the flank. But TSM respond well and they push forward. And that's what you want to do when you find yourself in these situations. Like when you're TSM here and there's players in front of you and there's players pushing you from behind. You have to just pick a direction. Do you clear behind or do you push back? Which one do you want to do? And most of the time TSM are choosing to push forward and kill the Sigma in front of them. And it's worked for them so far. Vision is now on Hanzo. And again, they're going to try and come through low ground. You can see a fairly split push again. Kiri and Traitor going through top, but Sunjun was marking that, so King has to use his recall. Pressure on point now from False, and Rocket's going to come help Sunjun on the flank here. Try and keep King in check. Oh, but no vision. Arrow from downtown in main gets that pick, and that's going to make King and Squid's battle on this flank all that easier. Now the rally push in main from Maple. They're trying to come through. Luke Mino windows, but he's caught behind. The Flux is big. Maple's in so much trouble. The lamp keeps him alive. Kitsune rush in. Flux comes out. Catches all of them. Suzu from Squid. They're okay for now. But TSM have stabilized with the points being C9. Free on point. They have to go quickly. Sunjun is back on venture. They're going to get on point. Burrow comes in from Sunjun. Magic Maple over the top. It should be enough. Vision on the high ground. He needs so many picks, though. He does find CJ, but it's not enough. TSM managed to stabilize at the end of second tier and will take the series 2 to 1.
So, a pretty dominant final map, actually, when we look at it from Luminosity and TSM. We can take a look at the scoreboard here as well. It felt like TSM had a pretty good read over, over how Luminosity wanted to play with that really wide style with Akiri Tracer. And TSM were finding consistent punishes for that super split play style. So, I think a good, a good read on how to play that final matchup from TSM. If we can take a look at the scoreboard, if we go back to Oasis, so this was a bit of a weird one, right? Where it was a, a very a very competitive opening round, followed by 200 O's by TSM. So no surprise to see TSM obviously doing quite well there. CJ and Magic Mate Ball both on 22 and 2, 23 and 2 respectively. Very dominant. Meanwhile, we see, yeah, King, Dante, 10, 11 deaths respectively. Really started to struggle in that second part of that match. Thank you, Rock. TSMT. A TSMT. Yeah, TSM on top. Then once we get to... Was it Midtown? I'm remembering this correctly. No, Iconwold. I'm thinking of a different one. Iconwold. Oh, yeah, this was, this was unbelievably uh, luminosity-sided, right? We see 13 deaths on the side of Sun June, 12 for Rocket. Uh, really dominant performance all around. Dante on 32 and 3. King on 31 and 5. Really one-sided. Would not let them out. Would not let them out of spawn. Um, and yeah, well-deserved victory there. And then once we got to Junkertown, there was more back and forth. I think interesting you see here King with 12 deaths. Really struggling to have a lot of impact. It felt like Squid and King would frequently get the side of the map they want. But because TSM's response was so good, they didn't really get the value they were really hoping for. I think if we look at it here, it's say compared to, say, Icy on four deaths. False on seven deaths. It felt like that's where the damage was really being done all of a sudden, you know? Um, similarly, if we look at... Where is it? If we look at Luke, nine deaths compared to CJ's four, it feels like that's where the kills are actually being made by that TSM core of CJ, Magic Maple, and False. Uh, sorry, CJ, Magic Maple, and Icy pushing forward into False and Luke Mino. It was actually Luke and False's deaths that were causing him more problems than anything. So a good win for TSM. I think it's fair to say I've been given I've been given the official cope by Luminosity now they hadn't scrimmed all that much in the lead up to this week, so they're maybe not in top form and all of that. But playoffs are starting soon. Playoffs are starting very much this week. So they need to need to get themselves into shape. Obviously, the nature of how close that match is, it's for one, you can very much see it going different ways in a full best of five series and a knockout situation in playoffs. But I think we have to talk player of the match. If we have to talk player of the match, let me think. Hmm. Thought Icy had, had some very up and down moments, some bad fluxes on Junkertown. Maple was pretty good. I think that's a reasonable recommendation. Actually, the rallies were really good on Junkertown. Didn't feel like he, was get, he would get caught in many other situations. I mean, it was very... I'm trying to think everyone else because... Rocket had a pretty good Junker Town as well, but he's really struggled on the Icon World. I guess that's, that's true for all of TSM, right? Um, but I'm actually leaning towards maybe a CJ or Magic Maple. Um, I thought all of CJ's... Maybe... I feel like I've given it to CJ in the past, so if it's 50-50, let's give it to Magic Maple as well. I feel like a lot of the rallies were good. Um, all of the beats and the ults mostly made sense. There was maybe that one, one late one on Icon World where he didn't catch Sun June. That was a little bit ugly. But ultimately, yeah, the rally, the rally plays, I think, really made a huge difference on that Junker Town. And in general, the beats and the rest of it felt pretty good as well. So happy to do that. TSM on top. Now enders for the YouTube recording. So thank you very much, everyone, for watching. I'll see you in the next one.